Has getting a resistance soldering iron been out of the question for you? This video might change your mind. Well, most people avoid buying a resistance solderer because they are so darn expensive. Some work around the cost by hacking microwave transformers and whatnot to make sometimes okay and sometimes unsafe units. Many turn out to be mini spot welders not fit for the hobby modeler. This is the review of a resistant soldering station made from a DIY kit based on a safety rule complying commercially made short transformer designed especially for soldering photo etched parts. A video review of that transformer is under the icon above. The kit used to build this soldering station costs at less than 25% of most commercially available units. It has two power settings. The low power setting is perfect for soldering photo etched parts and etched brass kits. It produces an output of 3 volts 10 amps. With that setting, you can make joints without either scarring or warping the part. And that is also the case for other thin copper based metals. The high power setting, which delivers 6 volts 10 amps, comes in handy for soldering thicker, but still in the thin class copper based metal and thin mild steel. The unit can be powered from either 115 volts or 220 volt AC power supply. The kit used to build this comes with a plug to which you connect a power cable that fits the receptacle for your household power as supplied in your country. This is a resistance soldering station. You can make one by getting the transformer only and make your own custom design or you can buy a kit. If you buy a kit, follow the detailed instructions and make, the, make exactly what you see here. This is a soldering station only. To it, you add your own DIY soldering probes and grounding wires. You can use commercial products, but you will quickly find that making your own yields a huge savings. In all, you will find that making one of these resisting soldering stations is a great project. In the end screen, there's a link to our complete library on resistant soldering. I hope it helps you on your search. If there is anything else you would like to know, ask in the comments box. I hope your visit has been rewarding, and I look forward to you visiting us again. My best wishes for success in your soldering and modeling ventures.